Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Morning, everybody. Um, you know, not for nothing, but I want to weigh in on, you know, this thing that's going on down in Dallas, Texas. You know, and you know, I, you know, I listen to just various different things out there that's going on, and it's the thing that just does not make any sense whatsoever. Okay, now mind you. You know, I deal with a little law enforcement as well. You know, and so I'm watching over this rail yard and keeping the daggone cronies from coming up in here trying to break in the boxcars or tagging or whatnot. However, how are you so tired that you can't even recognize your own apartment? Mind you, Okay, I don't know how big Dallas is, but New York is pretty big. Okay, uh, how do you got, I live in East Orange, New Jersey, okay, mind you. Okay, so, you know, that's pretty far away from where I work in Queens. Okay, how do you, how do you be so tired? You know what I'm saying? You don't even know. You can't even recognize your own daggone house. What kind of work do you do? Okay. In law enforcement. You can't be that tired. It's more to the story. Okay. This daggone copper goes in. Okay. Daggone goes to some, some cat's apartment. Okay. Rest his soul. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace. My condolences to his family. You know what I'm saying? But... You know, you go in in somebody's house, you say you see a silhouette, shoot them down, call and say you're in the wrong apartment, okay? Then, all of a sudden, your story's changing up, and three times, you know, three times her story's changed up. Now, the man ain't even cold in the ground, and they, they smearing the guy. You know what I'm saying? It's a smear campaign. You know what I'm saying? And that Senator Ted Cruz, man, y'all know what y'all got to do November, okay? How could you take somebody's side in the sword, man? Sure. As, you know, he's she's an officer. She killed off somebody. You still going to take, take her side? Yo, something's not right about that, man. It's almost as if we back in the 60s, the 50s and 60s again. It's all the time. It's all the time with the law enforcement. Really needs a serious reform. Our justice system is, you know, it's in shambles. The, the justice system is just in shambles, and it's not cool. Okay, you know, uh, uh, Philando Castile, okay, think back to that. And he told the police officer, okay, look, I got a gun, I'm licensed. They still moped him, okay? You know, every time. I can think back to when my man Coke got him done. False identity. Somebody else did something. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, it's always a situation. Don't say, you know, this ain't a race issue. Because that plays a big factor in that. You know, and you know, it's... Where's the good cops, okay, to call out the bad cops, okay, this lady straight up guilty, okay, there was some kind of ulterior motive, you still trying to make her out to be some kind of daggone victim, she's not a victim, she's a murderer, call it what it is, she's a murderer, you know, and so I man, the guy, you know, he, it, you know, as a black man, let's just keep it a buck. As a black man, you know, seeing somebody else, okay, you know, my style, my texture, you know, say my skin color. Every time you characters out there always got to find the negative and the bad in us. And it ain't fair, man. It's not fair. It's a problem. It's a problem and stuff with that going. 
You know what I'm saying? You know, I, they could say it's race bait. No, it's not race baiting. Okay, it's what it's what it is. You know, you kill this guy for like you didn't. What was the reason? You hiding something? That cop is hiding something. Okay, she did something out there. She's trying to make herself. She's trying to get out of something that she's not one that going to be able to get out of. Almighty's going to have a nice little say to her. I know that for certain. You can try to hide as much from the people, but, uh, you know, you got to sleep at night, sweetie. She has to sleep at night, okay? See, a friend of mine always told me, my man A.T.L. Bond always told me, you got to remember a lie. You got to remember a lot. And her story has been changing up. The, the, the police department has been adding on. Okay. Why is she out of a job? And you can't get it. would be unfair that she just get off with a slap on the wrist. Now, had that been somebody else, you know, it's a black officer. I'm just calling it what it is. We're just looking at the statistics of what's seen, what's put out there on the news networks. You ain't got to like it, bump it, dump it, but I don't care. This is what I see. You know, she is that there's no kind of accountability being taken apart. You know, when somebody's doing something wrong. She like she did something wrong. She killed this guy. No accountability. Okay. Same thing with the kid in the Bronx, Junior. The girl responsible for that. Yeah. And we ain't forget about that. And stuff. She trying to hide a punk with a boyfriend. And stuff, man. She on the boy got the young boy, Junior gets hacked up. The little girl goes to protection. Okay. Don't, you know, these people, there's no kind of accountability. And it's sad. All the time. All the time. Okay. And, it's, and, you know, the police, you know, you guys, you know what I'm saying? You know, there was a time, you know, back in the days when we didn't know the things that really go on. Okay, kids wanted to be in law enforcement. Okay, and you know, they didn't know no codes or nothing. But you know, when you get older, you start really seeing things for what they are, not what they appear to be. I saw my moment of truth when what happened to my homeboy back in 95 in Hopewell, Virginia. You know, and it's just, it's it's, un, it's unfair. Okay. You, you know, when you're wrong, you're wrong. I don't care if you're a, a civilian or a copper. You know what I'm saying? And the coppers out there use and abuse the daggone laws. they supposed to protect and serve. You know, they're supposed to protect the people and stuff, man. They, they have to obey the law just as much as everybody else, okay? There's nobody out there but the law. A lot of these people got this whole thing tricked up. He's got this daggone individual. I ain't going to say his name. But I'm just say 45. You already know what it is. Y'all let him soup everybody up. Soup characters that daggone following him and stuff. He done got all of them souped up. You know, feeling like, you know, they're invincible. they just coming out the woodworks with it. Let's just call it what it is. And it's not fair, man. It's really not fair. Man is dead and stuff, and the daggone cop is just lying. You know what I'm saying? The Amber, girl, the Amber Copper, you know, whatever, Geico, whatever the hell her name is. You know, she's just living a lie. You got to remember a lie. Every single time. This happens all the time. And it's starting to dag and get, you know, people starting to get out. You're tired of this, man. 
every time. You try every you got to try to be right at all times. You know, no kind of counsel, no kind of accountability, no responsibility. You always think that y'all you think you're sane. It ain't fair, man. It ain't fair. You know, and so it man, and I just feel like, you know, I felt like I had to say something about it. It's not fair, man. The system is not fair. And it always seems like, you know, it's working against us. Just had to put that out there, man. You know, got to be some changes here, man. Because, you know, you know, just as I, you know what I'm saying, secure the rail yard. You know what I'm saying? You know, we in the deck on trenches too. Things happen here just as much. But there's there's always an egalitarian type deal. Okay. And it's not fair, man. It's not fair. It is not the system is just not fair, man. Nah, I'm not feeling it. It ain't fair, you know, and you know, they always feel like they got to point the finger at us. Why? Because uh, I really, you don't want me to tell the truth on what really, really, what things are. I mean, we say too much, man. I just said enough. Okay, subscribe, like, you know, leave a comment. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, like it, bump it, dump it, write it, whatever, man. All right? Set my piece.